So continuing with uh, our uh, exploration in high altitude herbal garden of Bihar, Le, we have come across a very promising medicinal plant which is called Shirolo in Ladakhi language. Even Prime Minister mentioned this plant in Man Ki Baat. And this is the Rhodiola. We have many species of Rhodiola. Rhodiola heterodonta is a threatened plant. Rhodiola uh, valichiana we have. Rhodiola himalans we have. So uh, this particular plant is also used in cuisine making, especially uh, one can stuff the momos also with its uh, uh, rose red roots as well as fleshy leaves. And uh, th this particular plant is uh, uh, seen only in the cold desert of high altitude Ladakh. So this Rhodiola or Shrolo is one of the very unique plant which I could see here. Another is uh, Denmo Kushu, although now it is dried up, the Podophyllum hexandrum now called as Sinopodophyllum hexandrum anti-cancerous plant. But a unique plant which I came across here uh, under cultivation of preservation that is the Aphidra gerardiana. Aphidra gerardiana even uh, fruit like structures. They are not fruits basically because the naked seed and the aril is fleshy and scarlet red. So whatever portion is edible that is the red one and seed should be discarded. So this is in fact it is a naked seed. Seed without any uh, covering so to say whatever uh, pink red fleshy outer cover we are able to see this is not fruit cover a uh, fruit pericorp or mesocarp this is simply arid so seeds are naked so it's a gymnosperm and uh, during the uh, recent visit to lucknow uh, national botanical research institute i found that uh, it's a relative that was velvetia mirabilis which is unique to the uh, Namibia and Angola in uh, Africa and another plant from the same uh, order Nitopsida nitales is Ephedra. Ephedra giradiana grows in high altitude deserts, uh, Lahul Spiti and also in uh, Nubra Valley and Leh and this particular plant is the source of ergotrine drug also even ephedrine drug, uh, ephedrine basically. Ephedrine which has the ergotene like uh, chemical structure uh, and ephedrine is used in asthma, uh, bronchial uh, uh, complications and this particular plant in Ladakh is called Shepath, also uh, known as uh, Som uh, Lata, although this is not Lata, the basically the uh, real creeper, Ephedra creeper, Ephedra climber, that is Ephedra foliata seen in the hot deserts of Rajasthan, whereas this particular bushy plant this is not actually uh, climbing but something you can say a little uh, climbing habit uh, but not a really climber this is a bushy habit this is also called a ground pine or ground fir these are just popular names but otherwise this is ephedra gerardiana and this particular uh, medicinal plant is uh, well suited to the cold deserts of Ladakh and this is also the storehouse of many useful secondary metabolites. So if we see here, we see the allium species. Uh, I think this should be allium consanguinium, scorchae, uh, I think. I am not sure about the species, uh, but uh, leaves are not that broad and leaves are narrower, so it should be consanguinium. And here there is uh, obviously the fruit maturation uh, uh, is taking place. It's already about to be harvested. It's, uh, then another species which I am able to see here, it is Tanisetum. Tanisetum is a highly aromatic plant. And uh, this is enthalmintic like Artemisia. So once upon a time, I think it was also included under Artemisia, but now it stands uh, separated into another genus, Tanisetum. So we have Tanisetum uh, dalicophyllum found in Kashmir. But this is Tanisetum, perhaps Tibeticum or Gracile. And this is unique to the cold desert area of Ladakh. Uh, Oregonum species is also found in Kashmir and Ladakh and uh, Kistwad. That is Oregonum. Many species, but Oregonum vulgar is one. We have uh, uh, Menthas. Then one particular Russian sage plant, which is called Peroskia. Peroskia, now it is also included under Salvia, uh, Aprotonitis. Uh, another is uh, Atriplicifolia. These two species exist. Uh, this is uh, um, Peroskia abrotronidus. 
following perhaps it is called in local ladakhi language and uh, uh, this particular uh, plant uh, which i am able to focus now which is this this one a gallium ah this, uh, this is gallium plant which is called majit in dogri language and another bulb berry which i have just come across this is lycium ruthenicum uh, uh, called khichar or khitsar in ladakhi language for the first time i uh, had the glimpse of this unique bulb berry or lycium ruthenicum plant uh, on way to nobra uh, in near south pulu and it was uh, then dfo uh, narvu uh, who acquainted me with this particular plant otherwise i was not knowing its identity so it has peared purplish black berries and they are health promoting and this uh, is very spiny plant from the tomato potato family solanaceae called Cy uh, lycium ruthenicum and it's another cousin or brother you can say uh, lycium barbarium is seen in the hot desert of rajasthan and gujarat and this is being promoted as a health promoting medicinal plant of uh, which can really generate the livelihoods for the local people so these are the artemisia plants artemisia species so 22 or more than 22 species exist in the uh, high altitudes of jammu and kashmir including ladakh so here we have come across another unique plant uh, you see it's uh, fruiting uh, berries it is also uh, uh, lycium but this lycium has been imported from china or japan china hmm i have just uh, tasted its uh, fruits and this is so tasty i have come across uh, in the google search that this particular species of lycium which species i am forgetting its name but this is unique lycium barbarium ha huh, lycium barbarium this is unique this is being marketed as a health supplement a nutritional supplement and this plant uh, i have come across for the first time in my life although lycium ruthenicum i saw in 1993 in nobra but seeing the plant lycium barbarium is a i think first time i am see i am so much thrilled uh to see this unique health promoting medicinal plant from the solanaceae family under the genus lycium also called the bulb berry bulberry and scarlet red fruits really attract to wildlife also birds also and this is also quite tall and it's erect bush uh, with many branches and then the leaves are also you can say uh, and there are spiny also uh, twigs are a little bit spiny also uh, and on the uh, uh, branchlets we find these spines the thorns so this is quite thorny uh, here leaf is size is also larger than our uh, lycium uh, ruthenicum our lycium ruthenicum uh, has white silvery white stem uh, it is grayish white it is not uh, that uh, brilliant silvery white it is a uh, brownish or grayish you can say but fruit color here it is a scarlet red in barbarium whereas fruit color in case of lycium ruthenicum is black or purplish but this is highly reputed medicine plant i think this is the first unique plant which i have learnt today only in the uh, beautiful landscape of ladakh and uh, visit to bihar was really educating and it has inspired me given a thrill although this is my first day uh, at lay and i should have taken rest but i think my passion for uh, knowing new plants and uh, uh, when i am talking to you about medicinal plants i had the glimpse of double hemp camel also that is bactrian camel so we have the ship of the desert in rajasthan that is one hump which is called as camelus dromedarius but here we have another unique double hump camel that is called as camelus bactrianus and uh, now the molecular taxonomy is telling us that there might be many subspecies and uh, this were these were the used by the traders 
uh, during the silk route uh, time that the business was flourishing to central asia via uh, ladakh so after that trade routes silk route was closed then these are now just preserved because these are dwindling they are declining so this is considered as one of the threatened mammal or uh, uh, hundar hundar is the location in nubra valley where they are usually seen on sand dunes and many tourists who uh, go there they want to have the um, camel ride double humped camel ride so this is unique uh, learning in today's lay tree talk tree does not mean that only trees but it, anything which is associated with the trees maybe camels are using the trees as fodder our camel which we find in jammu that you uh, uh, loves to eat uh, the uh, leaves of fig fruits ficus uh, religiosa uh, ye kaun se patte khate hain uh, willows willow willow brok chang or mal chang uh, yarpa also yarpa papla sibakthon sibakthon leaves is very uh, in nubra valley in uh, wilderness if, uh, if they are not uh, uh, fed then on their own they love to eat the leaves foliage of sibakthon liberi hippophyr ramnides variety turke turkmenistan turkmenistanica so another species is found in uttarakhand and himachal that is hippophis salicifolia it's called tirku it is called sarmang or sarwang and in himachal pradesh as sharma that unique layberry sea buckthorn hippophis ramnoides i had a very delicious feast today and with layberry sea buckthorn i had another sweet feast of fruits that was lysium barbarium which was found under cultivation in bihar diadio institute high altitude research it was a very fruitful day acha choglam sir hai na choglam sir ha choglam sir mein ja rahe from choglam sir to stakna stakna ha ji we are going to visit kazari ha ji central arid zone research institute so this is the landscape of cold desert of le and we are able to see the on our right side river indus populated by sindh sindh river associated with the indus valley civilization and uh, this is autumn season in ladakh this time and uh, we hope to see some unique autumnal tints some unique medicinal plants already i could see very unique medicinal plants in bihar that is diadio institute high altitude research station uh, lysium barbarium was i think for the first time in my life i could taste the berries bulberry and another plant which uh, i just noticed once in 1993 for the first time and then second time also i think i uh, saw it at near newma village um, or some other village in the year 2004 and today again i could see that plant lysium ruthenicum under cultivation in bihar so this is the unique landscape buddhism predominantly practiced here we have the monasteries and all the mountain hillocks a thikse monastery alchi monastery uh what was the name of you told stakna stakna yes. you have monasteries stakna yes, yes. yeah yeah so this is unique i think this road leads to rupshu also rupshu uh, this is the high nh3 said high ah. way manali this goes to hemis ha and also the rupshu, rupshu highlands mm -hmm. and from there we can enter the uh, high altitude uh, 
uh, Ramsar wetland that is Somoriri. Uh, I could visit uh, Pangong so in the year 2004 and Somoriri as well. Uh, this is quite enchanting landscape while where you see the high altitude mountain wetlands, wild ass, that is Tibetan wild ass, Equus Kiang, then you see black necked green Tung Tung, also you see oriental magpie or Vectrian magpie Pika Pika, then this these high mountain meadows are also known for the presence of marmot which is called fia or drone kind of rodent which is a prey for the snow leopard snow leopard stands proposed as the unit territory animal for Ladakh and likewise Unique pencil sedatory, Juniperus polycarpus, previously called as Juniperus perus macropoda, locally known as Shukpar, Chilgi, or Padam, stands proposed as the Union Territory tree for UTA Ladakh. Likewise, we have very beautiful enchanting flower in the cold desert of Ladakh that is. Himalayan uh, blue poppy, that is Meconopsis aculeata, that stands proposed as unit territory flower, but proposal is still pending and no decision has been communicated so far. I think we are able to see the poplars locally called as Ulep. So you see the yellowing of leaves as the autumn is arriving it has already arrived and with the more chill they will turn golden yellow ultimately they will fall and the trees will be there they will remain without leaves for the winter season and the new spring foliage will come come up likewise we have the birches uh, in some valleys and birch trees also support the golden color of their fall foliage especially they are near Janskar towards Kashmir side we find and even in botanic sector of Korgil uh, there are two kinds of willows willows which are original which are wild they grow in wilderness they are called brokchang and other one which are introduced and under cultivation, they are called Malchong. And this is a, you can see the Choglam Sir. Mm -hmm. So we are just passing through Choglam Sir on way to Kazari, Central Arid Zone Research Institute to see the ongoing activities, research activities, but new initiatives stands taken, keeping in view the climate change uh, cool desert conditions and diversification of livelihoods how research and development in the domain of medicinal and aromatic plants commercial cultivated crops like bulberry lysium ruthenicum or lysium barbarum even lettuces, lactucas, even apple orchards, kushu, local kushu is called tha, tha, kushu. tha kushu, which is of smaller size and then even golden delicious has shown the promising yield and we are able to see even maize, shelly, cob and walnuts.
gosto. So we have entered Kazari Central Arid Zone Research Institute, Regional Research Station, Leh Ladakh. Wonderful campus.